Nowadays, most cars on the road fall into one of two categories, either petrol or diesel. Now, from the shape of these vehicles on the outside, you wouldn't know which is which. But on the inside, their engines just don't work in the same way. And the net result of that is what finally emerges from their exhaust pipes is also significantly different. All but the very latest diesels give off at least twice the toxic nitrogen dioxide and 10 or 20 times the dangerous soot particles that petrol cars do. So why is there such a big difference? It really comes down to the fuel itself. Petrol and diesel. They may look the same and their pumps sit side by side on the garage forecourt, but there is a significant difference between the two of them. And to show you, I need a bowl of each and a box of matches. By the way, danger alert, do not try this at home. Now, petrol is a highly volatile fuel. That means it evaporates easily. So petrol gas effectively comes up and mixes with the air and so catches fire readily. But diesel, made of longer, heavier molecules, gives off fewer fumes and is actually quite difficult to light. Now, because of this big difference in flammability between the two fuels, the engines work in fundamentally different ways. This is my petrol engine. It's very simple. It's just a single cylinder, and into it, I've got a nice fitting piston that can slide up and down. And the way the fuel gets introduced into the cylinder, because petrol, vaporizes so readily. It actually gets injected into a warm chamber just prior to the cylinder. And then, as the piston rises, it sucks in a mixture of petrol vapors and air. And because they're both gases, essentially, they can mix very, very intimately. So when we introduce a spark, you uh, get quite a nice explosion. And you'll see on that explosion, it's a very blue flame. And that blue means that there's very few soot particles in there. It's clean burning. Now, a diesel engine has to work differently because diesel won't readily vaporize into a gas. To make it flammable, it's injected into the air as a kind of fine mist, a sort of high pressure aerosol. Now that really does catch fire. So I'll spray a fine mist of diesel droplets into my cylinder. There you go. There's a big difference. The flame is bright yellow, and that yellowness indicates that there are glowing soot particles in there. And you can uh, quite readily see the smoke coming off it, and indeed, the soot. And that's the problem, because in the operation of an engine, there really isn't time for all those droplets of liquid to burn completely. So what happens is some of it just gets reduced down to particles of carbon, soot. And that means that the exhaust system of a diesel engine has a bigger job to do.